this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was. Then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Hello everyone and welcome back to our series on the Hebrew Revelation, James and Jude. This is session number two. Who is the morning star? Yeshua or Hasatan? Jesus or Satan? So let's start with Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12 to 14. It says, Shining morning star. How have you fallen from the heavens? You said to yourself, I will make myself like the Most High. Now, some people say, no, this is just the king of Babylon. This doesn't refer to Satan. Look at the context. How have you fallen from the heavens? The king of Babylon did not fall from the heavens. It's pretty clear if you read the whole context here that this talks about Hasatan, Satan, as the morning star. And then the same Bible in the New Testament in Revelation 22 verse 16, it says, I, Jesus, I, Yeshua, am the root and the offspring of David, the bright morning star. So isn't that a serious contradiction? Because on the one hand, Satan is the morning star. On the other hand, Yeshua is supposedly the morning star. How do you explain this contradiction? Some people say, well, the King James Version solves the problem. So let's read the King James Version of Isaiah chapter 14. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Elohim. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. And so these people say, no, but the King James Version doesn't call Satan the morning star. It only calls him Lucifer. And everyone knows Lucifer is a name or title used for Satan. Well, did you know that the Latin word Lucifer is just a name for the morning star? That's all Lucifer means. Lucifer means in Latin the morning star. Um, for example, even in the New Testament, in Second Peter, where it talks about the morning star, the Latin New Testament says until Lucifer arises in your hearts, because that's the Latin word for morning star. So the King James Version does not solve the contradiction at all. So let's also look at the Hebrew text of Isaiah chapter 14. It says, Echna falta mishamayim, how have you fallen from heaven? Heleil ben Shachar. Heleil literally means shiner, and then it adds an explanation ben Shachar, son of the morning. Ben, or son, here is just an idiom. We know that Isaiah often uses archaic, poetic language. And so all this means is shiner of the morning. And in the context of falling from heaven and saying, I will rise up above the stars of El. It's pretty clear in context that the morning shiner here refers to the morning star. And that is why basically all translations of the Bible will translate this either as day star, morning star, or Lucifer. And these are just various terms or names for the same thing for the morning star. And the morning star said, Edamele Elion, I will make myself like the Most High. And now we have this problem where Yeshua and Asatan 
have the same title in most Bibles. They're both called the Morning Star. Okay, now, in Revelation chapter 22, verse 16, in the Greek version, Yeshua says, I'm the Morning Star. Even if we translate that back into Hebrew, it does not solve the problem. So here's the France Daily translation of Revelation 22, 16. Ani Yeshua, I Yeshua, Anochi Shoresh David Betoladuto, I am the root of David and his genealogy, Kohav Noga Hashachar, the star of the brightness of the morning. In plain English, the bright morning star. So even though in Revelation it is written in very plain language, and in Isaiah we see poetic language, it really means the same thing. Morning star. Is Yeshua the morning star or is Satan the morning star? In the Greek revelation, there are two references to the morning star. Let's talk about these first, and then last of all, we'll talk about the verse in 2 Peter, which also references the morning star. So, Revelation 2, verse 28, translated from Greek, and it talks about he who overcomes so and so and so, I will also give him the morning star. Do you want the morning star if you overcome? You want Lucifer, Satan? How do you explain this? How much sense does it make? He who overcomes, I will give him the morning star. And then in Revelation 22, 16, translated from Greek, I, Yeshua, I, Jesus, am the root and the offspring of David, the bright morning star. So according to the Greek revelation, Yeshua claimed, I am the bright morning star. Is that really true? Is Satan the shining morning star? Or is Yeshua the shining morning star? How do you explain this contradiction? Is there any insight that we can gain from the Hebrew version of Revelation? So remember, at HebrewGospels.com, we offer a complete translation and Hebrew transcript of a Hebrew manuscript of Revelation that proved to be authentic. In other words, this is not a translation from Greek back into Hebrew. Rather, this preserves the original Hebrew text. So, can we find any insight from the original Hebrew text of Revelation? Look what it says here in chapter 2. Uchmo shekibalti me'avi, and as I received from my father, kach eten lo hashachar, so I will give him the light, or the morning light. You see, this word shachar on its own does not mean morning star. It just means morning, or morning light. And it's also used as a synonym of glory, because in Hebrew, light and glory are sometimes interchanged. And you can also see this in our translation of the Hebrew Gospel of John, where Yeshua uses light to mean glory. So let me just show you, in the Old Testament and in the prophet Isaiah, this Hebrew word shachar is used positively, and it doesn't mean morning star. This verse says, to the Torah and to the testimony, if they do not speak according to this word, it is because they have no light. The Hebrew word for light here is shachar. So the converse would be that those who do speak according to the Torah and the testimony will have light. Because those who don't speak according to the Torah and the testimony do not have light light. So you see, there's no problem if it says, he who overcomes, I will give him shachar, I will give him light or glory or something of the like. It does not mean morning star at all. It doesn't say kochav hashachar, it just says hashachar, 
I will give him the light. Okay, now let's look at the second and the most important uh, verse here in Revelation, where in the Greek version, Yeshua supposedly claimed, I am the bright morning star. What does it say in the Hebrew version? It says here, Ani Yeshua, I Yeshua, wa ani shoresh mimishpechot Dawid. Even I am the root of the families of David. And that is the end of the verse. It doesn't add the bright morning star. That phrase does not exist in the Hebrew revelation. So just to show you that this really is so, let's have a look at the Hebrew manuscript. So this is the translation that anyone can download from hebrewgospels.com slash revelation. And it includes photos of the translated folios of this manuscript of Revelation. So let's now go to Revelation chapter 22 in this manuscript. Let's zoom in and move over to the last chapter. There you can see Perek Kaf Bet, that's chapter 22. And now we need to read in verse 16. It says, Ani Yeshua shalachti malachi. I Yeshua sent my messenger, laharot laida, to show the assembly, wa ani shoresh mimishbechot Dawid. Even I am the root of the families of David. And then verse 17 starts, wa ruach wa kala amru bo, and the spirit and the bride say, Come. So very clearly, the Hebrew revelation does not say that Yeshua claimed, I am the bright morning star. This phrase is not here in the Hebrew revelation at all. So let's just go back to this verse in Isaiah chapter 14. Take note, it doesn't say that Satan called himself the morning star. This is a prophecy that Elohim gives through the prophet Isaiah, and he calls Satan, Helel ben Shachar, the shiner of the morning, or the shining morning star. And the morning star said, according to Isaiah, according to this prophecy, Edamele Elion, I will make myself like the Most High. And one of the ways in which Satan tries to do this, is he managed to get Yeshua the same title in the Greek New Testament that he received in the Hebrew Old Testament. This is in the Greek New Testament that Satan and Yeshua now have the same title. Now Yeshua is also the morning star. Can you believe this? However, in the Hebrew Revelation, there is no mention of the morning star at all. Now, let's also talk about this verse in 2 Peter. And it talks about the prophetic word to which you will do well to pay attention as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. This is the verse where the Latin New Testament says, Lucifer rises in your hearts, because that's the Latin word for morning star. So, because of the mistranslation in Revelation chapter 22, people think they know that Yeshua is the morning star, and then they assume, oh, this is until Yeshua comes up in our hearts. But Yeshua never said that he is the morning star. And, by the way, it doesn't make sense to say that we need to pay attention to the prophetic word until the morning star or Lucifer comes up in our hearts. That doesn't make any sense to me. So, here's an example of a Hebrew manuscript of the New Testament. The Cambridge University Library 00.1.32 and it contains a lot of books of the New Testament. Most of these are not authentic. They're just copied from the Aramaic Peshitta into Hebrew. But some of these books are interesting. 
And we have actually translated James and Jude from this manuscript, and that's available at HebrewGospels.com. So let's see what it says here in 2 Peter 1 verse 19 in this manuscript. It says, Adeshe Bayom, until the day comes, Wahashachar Allah Bilvavchem, and the morning arises in your hearts. The Hebrew word Shachar does not mean morning star. And you know what? In this particular case, even the Ginsburg translation of the New Testament managed to solve the contradiction because he also translated Shachar rather than Kohav HaShachar. So they actually managed to solve this contradiction just by translating the Greek New Testament back into Hebrew. But the previous two verses that we just looked at in Revelation cannot be solved by translating the Greek text back into Hebrew. They are only solved by the original Hebrew text of Revelation. So, to sum up, Isaiah chapter 14 clearly refers to Satan as the morning star, even in the King James Version, because that's what Lucifer means. The Hebrew New Testament, and especially the Hebrew Revelation, makes no mention of Yeshua being the morning star. So, therefore we can conclude, based on the Hebrew Tanakh, and based on the Hebrew New Testament, especially the Hebrew Revelation, that Yeshua is not the morning star. Yeshua is not Lucifer. I hope you found this interesting. In the next session, we want to look at more examples of mistranslation in the Greek version of Revelation, where the Hebrew version of Revelation quotes directly from the Old Testament. So until next time, Shalom in Yeshua Mashiach.